Hi guys, welcome back to Tokyo Model Detective. Um, sorry it's been a long while since I've been making videos. I've just um, started a new job in Tokyo and things have been really crazy at the moment. I've been really busy with um, orders and promoting uh, Tokyo Model Detective. So yeah, I just want to give uh, props to all the guys that have been, been patient. Um, hopefully this weekend it's... Uh, it's golden week in Japan, so I've got lots of time off. And I'll be reviewing maybe around about 10 to 15 kits from different companies. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's Friday the 29th of April in Japan right now, guys. And as you can see right now, I'm going to do a quick, very quick review of the um, X-Wing Starfighter. This is from the uh, new range of Bandai. Um... Uh, kits or figures and this is the x-wing fighter um, as you can see at the front it's got a beautiful box art um, as always Bandai always do a really cool job in their um, like box art designs and um, this is quite strange for me because obviously I've been dealing with a lot um, with a lot of like Bandai kits and normally they're like 172 112 um, but this little Starfighter looks really cool. Um, it's got some basic information. You know, it's got a Bandai logo. Vehicle model 002, 2016, made in Japan. Very cool. On the side, um, as you can see, it's got like... Uh, I'm trying to like get my GoPro camera as close as possible to the box because obviously this is very small and I'm trying to pick up all the details on the actual figure. Um, so it's got like a front aerial view, underneath view, side view, and from what I can see, it comes with these stickers. Um, but yeah, also on here as well, it's got some information about the X-wing. Um, that's about it, really. I don't want to go through every single thing. The main thing is the actual um, kit itself. Oh, cool. Um, so basically, inside. Um, it's got the instructions um, Very very simple um, it looks like the um, The wings can actually go up and down um, Which is really cool um, So yeah, this is very cool that they've put the instructions inside the box. It's got like your yeah, Bandai um, parts uh, request coupon there. Inside here. I don't know if you can see it very well on camera but it's got like a, a paint guide um, and it gives you some, I think, is that Gaia? It looks like Gaia there. Um, but yeah, it gives you percent. And it, this is really cool. It's like, it's translated in English, which is very odd. Um, <laughs> as, as you all know, um, Disney have blocked Bandai from selling um, these little kits. Um, and I will be selling these for 800 yen a box. Um, it gives some some really cool info as well. It says for a more lifelike finish, refer to the color guide. Use of water-based paint is recommended for safety reasons. That's kind of strange. Um, the color blending is shown for reference, and the actual color may differ from the image. Find your color um, blending with a reference to various materials. The information is current as of April 2016. Wow, that's pretty cool. Um, so that's inside the box. Let's go into the actual fit kit. Um, very cool. I'm not going to open this. Um, ah, fuck it. I will. I will open it. Um, basically, it comes maybe with four little sprues. Because uh, actually, these are for my customers. Um, so unfortunately, one of you guys is going to have to. Uh, get one that's been opened already but there there you go guys that's it let me get the light on there this is a3 sprue this is the front canopy section that looks like uh r2d2 there yeah that's a3 uh, going into a4 that must be the underside of the x-wing very well detailed actually i'm very surprised because i was like thinking how detailed 
will this be but as you can see right here if, can, if it picks up on camera um, it's got like the uh, like section where our do R2D2 sits and I can tell you right now guys don't know how well that's picking up on camera but the detail is phenomenal the molding on that is imp very impressive um, that looks like the wings again oh, look at the detail on that I hope this picks up um, because I'm very very surprised on how well Bandai have actually um, done the molds for this it's beyond belief to be quite honest because the detailing is just insane like really cool and this is the other section this must be the thrusters again if we can pick that up you can see all the little details of the engines there it's got some nice panel lining as well very cool and then I think this is the base you got um, is it BM1 comes with a little stand it's very cool comes with the notorious um, stickers from Bandai these are stickers they're not water decals um, to be quite honest I don't really like using these um, but in because of the detailing on here I think I might use these um, on some sections and paint the rest but that's the stickers guys and then inside the box the bottom of the box it's got some just precautionary information it's got a little like coupon thing from Bandai now that is the x-wing that's just been released i think was it yesterday moving on to the star destroyer so this is vehicle model number one and i take it bandai going to be re, uh, releasing many more of these little kits and as you can see here they've actually done a promo on 002 which is the x-wing starfighter which i have just reviewed um on the side of the box gives some information about the destroyer blah 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 all the good stuff uh, let's have a look inside again with the um with the other x-wing has the instructions inside and i'll just give you guys a quick glimpse at that um uh very very easy to put together actually um doesn't seem to be much work but like again like i've just talked about the detailing on the x-wing that shit has just blown my mind um so let me open the bag of spruce and uh let's have a look at the spruce guys uh it comes with a base like the other uh x-wing miniature kit um very self-explanatory now this is where we get into the good stuff this looks to be like the underneath or i think yes the underneath of the destroyer this comes in like in a very in a in this triangular shape um the detailing it has some embossed square grid shapes on there and if you can see that well on camera but um yeah it's not super detailed but enough to give you that image of it being very like detailed less is more kind of thing this looks to be like the upper sections the thrusters at the back again i don't know if you can see that on camera but yeah Um uh, going on i think this could be the upper section again it's not as detailed as i thought it would be to be quite honest but it, again obviously due to the size you can't go super crazy with the detailing because i think that would be impossible but yeah it's good enough um now this is probably the best sprue for detailing out of the whole box um as you can see here this is the back section where all the thrusters are and i can tell you right now guys this thing is super detailed they've really gone to town on that this section here is also super detailed i don't know what part of the ship that is but man 
Bandai, you guys rock. You've really done an amazing job considering like how small this frigging kit is. The detailing is superb. I wish they could do more of this on actual Gundam kits actually. Um, but yeah, they've done a really, really good job. Again, all the sprues are clean. There's no flash. There's no any damage to the parts. It's really cool. Okay, guys. Now, I know you've all been waiting for this. Okay, Kylo Ren, guys. Kylo Ren. Um, look at it. Perfect. Again, Bandai kicking ass on their... Um, on their front cover work um very cool and slick um let me just move the destroyer um on the side of the box it's got uh pictures of kylo ren it's got like the front view back view it's got all the different hand variants it's got his saber on there um very exciting to open this box. Um, I don't want to go through the whole thing, but like on the side of there, it's actually got Kylo Ren with the TFA Stormtrooper and Miss Captain Phasma. She's looking sexy, guys. Um, so yeah, this is a 112 scale kit made from Bandai. If you guys are interested, please PM me or send me a mail via YouTube. Um, Let's go through the bloody sprues. Wow. Okay. So as you open it up, you get the cape. And this is very interesting, actually. Very. I've never, apart from the Pat Labor kits that Bandai do, they've used these rubber parts. Um, and I can tell you the detailing on this cape is phenomenal. It's so detailed. They actually, this is this is rubber, but I'm telling you right now, this looks insane. Like, like the patterns in the coat in the uh, cloak. Very well done, Bandai. The only issue I have with these, and this might be an issue with this part, is that clean up. It's not easy to clean rubber and you know it's really difficult to paint so i'm thinking maybe if you're gonna paint this kit up um you're better off not painting that part because rubber is a friggin nightmare um this is the other section of the um cloak and that's his hood again made out of rubber again super detailed looks so friggin cool man this this figure amazing yeah right going into the hard plastics um, oh that's hard now that's his um, breastplate there and that's actually not rubber that's hard plastic but the detailing on that is phenomenal um, you've got some like plug connections there you've got his helmet and I take it that's his the section around his eyes uh, you've got one red sprue here which is obviously his saber uh, and I'm thinking if I'm correct me if I'm mistaken but sh there should be a red part for that probably it actually also comes with a sticker decal which is kind of cool oh it's a water decal sorry the water decal there um, but what's cool about this is I don't want to open this but it comes with one two three different hand variants you see right here and this must be like a, a yeah PC polycap part there yeah very well done Bandai that's his saber handle there guys um come to the base and oh wow they've actually included a, a sticker okay so that other one was a water decal this one here is more metallic looking more of a platinum finish on a sticker um 
comes with other hand variants, maybe to the gripping pose for the uh, saber. Because black shoes. This is plastic, by the way, guys. But yeah, it looks kick ass as always. Um, that was the last sprue of the box. Let's go into the instructions. Beautiful again. Um, Bandai always do a great job on their instruction um, booklets. They've done really good jobs on their current Star Wars stuff. And uh, I'll just give you a quick step by step guide. Step one body. Pretty cool. Right arm, left arm, head. Yeah, really digging that. And there's Kylo Ren. Obviously, you've got um, different like poses that he's got here. But I really dig. I'm really digging those hand variants. Um, color guide. It's in Japanese. Um, tells you how to apply the water decals. But that's about it, guys. But yeah, they've done a really kick-ass job. Um, to be quite honest, I wish that Bandai would. Um, Put instructions for um, painting on these rubber parts. I feel like they should like give um, people information on that because I had to research heavily on um, how to apply paint on rubber parts. And really, to be quite honest, you shouldn't really do it because why the paint cracks and the primer doesn't like sit very well on the rubber. So in in my kind of um, thinking.